this channel. This is Snake Computer Projects. In this channel, we help students to solve the KCSC project for computer studies. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve the um, Uzima, Uzima drilling project, which is the current year's uh, project. So to start with, I want to thank all those who used our project the previous year. Um, it was grateful use, uh, having you as my clients and I am grateful that all of you performed very well in the exams. So if you want to be like one of those who did the uh, the project, like those who bought the project from me, just visit our website. The link is the dis in, the, in the description. Visit the website, then book your project right now because booking is already ongoing and people are booking the projects. So to, to make sure that the projects don't... Uh, uh, get finished before you book uh, just book right now and then you'll receive a 200 shillings discount on the project you have booked so without wasting time let me let me go to this folder here and i'll open the folder the folder already has several documentation several uh, databases and the logos for the website but i won't show you the database log uh, the database and documentation documentation right now because this video is specifically made to uh, uh, to teach you or to or uh, to explain the question to you so i won't show you the database right now but i'll make on uh, i'll make a video on the same um okay let me open this project uh, this question paper and uh, let me explain it to you so that you may understand what you are doing and how you can tackle the question uh, while you are doing. So I'm just going to open this question. So um, okay, now that the question is open, let's go through the question and see how you can tackle the question and uh, know what you are required to answer by the question. So I'll just uh, go here to the question direct. So I'll just explain some of the uh, uh, core aspects of the question, uh, co core aspects that you are supposed to solve uh, in your project. So first, let's know what the co what the company is. So they say the company is uh, is a leading borehole uh, service provider in Kenya. So this company provides services to clients, and these clients are are categorized into three categories they, are, they have industrial clients commercial clients and domestic clients so uh, then the company of, offers three types of drilling there is symmetric drilling uh, co-drilling and geo geotechnical drilling so after drilling uh, the question proceeds and say that after drilling the company then installs the water tank and these water tanks are uh, the cost of installing the water tank depends on the type of the water tank so i mean not the water tank but the pump the type of the pump um, then uh, the the height above above the ground uh, and uh, and the, the 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 depth of the of the borehole so they also install tanks and the installation of tanks is charged depending on the capacity of the tanks in, in liters although though you have not been given that uh, amount that is charged per liter so that depends on your creativity as a developer to know what you you you, you uh, to know the um we, how many liters will you be charging uh, um, depending on the tank capacity how much will be charging so the next thing is to know is um is uh, the charge depending on the tank then the company offers other uh, other services such as plumbing and pump maintenance so these are other services that are being offered by the service uh, by the company apart from the um, pump installation tank installation and the uh, the, uh, the, the, the the other um, services that i have told you before so let's go to the next part which says that which whoever client is, is interested in this uh, company service the client has to apply for the service so the company then registers the client um, by taking their details like the client's name the client's name the address the telephone number uh, the details of the intended borehole uh, warhol location among other uh, other details so those other details you'll decide by yourself as a developer which details you'll add to the to that uh, to the client which other details of the client will you re require so let's go to the next part which says that each 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 client during re this this can be during registration is required to pay a fee these fees are of two of two types there is a local authority fee 
and the survey fee. So depending on the category of the client, the fee differs because if you get the industrial client in the industrial category, they pay 20,000 for the survey fee and 50,000 for the local authority fee. I think these fees should be charged from the client during the time of registration. So the next, the next part is this table having the drilling services and their respective prices. So this, uh, this, um, this table, uh, these uh, services. I mean, these drilling services are, or each drilling services, uh, each drilling service has its own cost and price. So the next part is the pump installation. So in, to install a pump, you require uh, to charge uh, the pump price. So we are given the pump price. Then the other thing that is charged during the pump installation, uh, or the other thing that is considered during the pump installation, is the height above the above the ground by the tank or the height of the tank above the ground this we saw this in the, ab um, in the upper part of the question so th that that's why we have this table down here this table shows the depth and the height and the amount charged per depth and height so this should be charged during the pump installation process so apart from charging the price of the pump you should also charge the price depending on the depth of the pump and height above the ground of uh, the height of the tank above the the ground so now now uh, uh, then it says again apart from charging the client the service fee uh, depending on the service that the client is requesting we are we also charge the client the tax this tax is 16% of the total amount that the client is supposed to pay for a particular service so um, these are uh, these are the, all the things that we have been told about the question. So now 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 uh, this part asks you as a developer to develop a system database that will register and maintain uh, clients. Of course, this is in the clients table, and then uh, register the items and services. This means that the company might require to add some services in future. So you should give them some space, like you should allow them to add services in future services and products so this uh, should be in separate tables the service table and the product table that will allow clients uh, that will allow the company to add or to expand their services in future and also they can add up uh, their um, uh, products apart from just uh, just maybe they can add another type of product apart from the tank or they can add another another type of of, of pump or the other type of of a tank so that you should consider that during your system development process so the next thing these are queries now the part c of the question uh, talks about the queries so the queries that you are required to mandatory queries of this question you should you should create a query that calculates the total amount of money to be paid by each client uh, by each client so this uh, this this amount is the local, the, lo uh, the, 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 the authority fee, the, um, the tax, and the, the price per service that the client has requested. So the next thing is to create a query that will, uh, will calculate the total amount of charges on plumbing. So, but although you have not been given the, 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 the price of plumbing or the cost of plumbing, so you just have to, to use your own creativity here and, uh, and, uh, uh, develop, uh, uh, write the uh, pl plumbing table and then add your your customized prices because we are we aren't given so this is a free a free question you can just answer it anyway so um, uh, the other thing is you create a query that calculates the tax paid by each client so this 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 is a child to this one this is the main this is the main um, this one calculates the total amount of money paid by each client, but this one just calculates a part of the amount paid by the client, that being the tax. And then the next part, we are looking at calculating the total fee charge for the for survey and local authority. So this is now the, the fee charge for, for local authority and the survey. So the next thing we are, go, we are required to, 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 to do by this system is to calculate the total revenue generated by the by the company so at um, at this point now we, we reach the, the end of the question we are, we are required to generate appropriate reports so as this is the end of the explanation of the question the left part is 
will be covered in the next videos so i'll be making a video on table design so this video will cover on developing the tables for the system and then creating relationship between the tables because i know these parts uh, this part mostly challenges students but i'll show you a simpler way to create the tables and add relationship between the tables and make sure that all the tables are functional so if you want to get notified when we post the video just subscribe to the channel and then uh, head over to our website then book the project i'll be i'll be um, sending the project to individuals who have made the purchase by the end of this week all the projects and database and document all the databases and documentation will be ready and the, uh, the the process of giving out the owners will start from there so all uh, if you you haven't you didn't have um, ordered the project you'll just have to visit our website and purchase the product at the at the uh, price that will be set at that time so without uh, without wasting much of your time i want to thank you for tuning into this video so let's wait for the next time and uh, i want to wish you a very good good day thank you